Hello there. At long last, I am going to actually present to you the five Nintendo portable video game systems that I have. These aren't by any means the only portable video game systems that I have, but I'll actually get into the other two that I have a little bit later because they're not Nintendo related, but anyway, I digress. Um, I wanted to point out that in 1995, I got a Game Boy, an original Game Boy, and I actually got the Game Genie uh, uh, code cheater system with it, and I gave all that away, including the light for it, the battery pack that came with it, to my friend Adam, who I mentioned in the last video, who actually played the Nintendo 64 with me for the first time. Anyway, uh... About three years later, I got a Game Boy Color, which I lost. I get another one, and I gave that to another friend of mine. And, uh, anyhow. Uh, that happened because that same year, at a yard sale, I ended up buying this. The original Game Boy Advance. It looks very much like the Sega Game Gear. It's got a kind of a taco-like shape. And, uh, this unit is really good. It got me into Game Boy Advance. It takes, uh, two AA batteries. It has a, an extension cord. There's a light you can actually plug into the extension cord here. You can see it. I'm sorry about the blur. It takes two AA batteries. Those are rechargeable, actually. And this is a good system, like, if you're using fluorescent lighting, like I am now, but otherwise you have to have a lot of lighting to play it because again it doesn't feature a lot of backlighting and it's probably why this system was kind of didn't do so well, but it fits well in the hand and it plays really well it just had that little flaw which led me up to the next system I got which helped me to enjoy Game Boy Advance the Game Boy Advance SP this is actually model number AGS001 there is another one that's AGS101 that is actually backlit. I'm very sorry. This is a frontlit model. But we see when you open it up, it looks like a Star Trek tricorder. It has the D-pads here and the A and B here start. And that's where you turn on the light. But anyway, I love this system. It's a little scratched up. And I paid a lot more for this than I paid for that because I was at a yard sale. This was actually at a uh, secondhand store that specialized in games. So they sort of knew what they had. And the next system was another one I got at a yard sale, but it's a little different than the Game Boy Advance system I got in terms of condition, and that's this. This is the Nintendo DS I was telling you about in the last video. The original DS. It's the same color as the original Game Boy Advance. It's very thick, and it actually has a Game Boy Advance slot in the front. The stylus is missing, but I'll probably get a new one when I fix this. You can charge this with a Game Boy Advance um, extension charger. One thing I wanted to note about this and the Game Boy Advance SP, they no longer take um, AA batteries. They have a rechargeable battery, which can also be replaced, but you can charge it with your Game Boy cord. And this one has the same cord. Now, let me open this up. As you can see, it has a dual screen. But the reason why I got this so cheaply, it actually cost me only a buck, was the hinge was broken. And also, there's some scratches inside the screen, I have to replace that screen. But other than that, it works perfectly fine, really. And I actually got another one of these that wasn't broken. But, um, like I said, I traded that up at GameStop for another system, which I'm going to get into in a minute. But the next one they made, because this one was originally described as being... Uh, Nintendo's third pillar, and its production name was Nitro. So I kind of call that the Nitro DS, in a way, because that's basically what it is. This is the replacement, and this made the Nintendo DS the one of the biggest portable, uh, biggest selling portable units for Nintendo, the Nintendo DS Lite. As you can see, it's quite a bit smaller than the original DS if you put them side by side. It fits right kind of in the center of the top. It's actually quite a lot thinner too. I don't know if I can compare them side by side. But as you can see it's actually uh, significantly thinner. As you can see they both have Game Boy Advance slots on the front but it sticks out a little bit because this is smaller. And the internal 
parts are a little different too. As you can see, it's much sleeker. And this is the unit I primarily use now. You turn it on from the side here. Just a really good unit, and I can understand why this is so popular. It's called the DS Lite. Remember I said that I got another version of this that was actually, you know, in really good shape, and I traded it up? It was for this, which I got before I got the DS Lite. And the DS Lite has a stylus that I get with it. This is the Nintendo DSi. Um, this Nintendo DSi basically is... Um, an early version of what inevitably became the 3DS, which I've had multiple opportunities to get pre-owned, but I didn't because it's an entirely different system. Nintendo are still making games for it, so they're still kind of expensive. So I really haven't put the priority on the Nintendo uh, 3DS yet. But anyway, there's no GBA cartridge slot. It replaces it with an SD card slot. The stylus is right here. It's kind of a bright yellow. This came out in 2009. And you open it up, it's similar to the DS Lite, but there are two new features. The screens are a lot bigger, and the camera is right there. There's a camera on this, right there, and a front-facing camera. Note that this can connect to the internet automatically. You need a special card to connect this or that to the internet, but they're both all internet compatible. These actually, you know, predate the... Uh, smartphones, iPhones, or tablets, and this DSi looks like a smartphone if you look at it. came out around the same time as a Blackberry. It has internet connectivity, but you really can't do much with it. There's a DSi store that I don't know if it even works anymore. It's kind of hard to download games, but I kept it. I like it. I'm not just collecting these things. I just got a lot of these at yard sales, so I didn't pay a lot for them. This I paid a lot for, so I got that pre-owned, but that wasn't that expensive. But these were my two most expensive units in terms of price here. So let's do something that I think is really going to be fun. We're going to open all of these up, like so. And then we're going to power them all up so you can see how the hardware works on these things. Let me kind of get them closer together here so we can do this. Let's start with the Game Boy Advance, the first Game Boy Advance, and then we'll start with the Game Boy Advance SP, so let's go. And now let's go with the DS's. And there we go. They're all powered up. Now this one's going to be a little different. As you can see, that one has a vastly different menu. There's a picture on top of it of me. These two have the same basic picture when you go to them. You can see the little clock there. And these have that Game Boy thing where it says, you know, put a cartridge in me. So let's power them down. I just wanted you to see how those all worked. Alright DSi, time to go to sleep. There we go. So there's my Nintendo portable collection for you, right there. There's more portables to come, but since we're celebrating Nintendo, this concludes our Nintendo celebration. So enjoy your Christmas. And if you get a 3DS or whatever Nintendo's putting out now, the uh, new 3DS or the 3DS XL or the 2DS or Mario Anniversary DS, whatever it is, enjoy. But if you get one of these, don't knock them. They're great systems. And I didn't get these on Christmas and I feel like I missed out on something in a way. But, you know, it's not about what you get. It's about what you get out of it. You know, if socks work for you at Christmas, that's great. Most people get them. If these work for you, that's great. You know, if you're happy by it. And that's what matters. Happiness, love, at the holidays. Not material stuff. But if these, you get them, that's great. So, anyway, that's my Nintendo collection. And I will see you with other videos next time.